now we're ready so today is going to be a great day even though it's a bit cloudy and it's probably going to rain later it doesn't matter because we're going to be playing around with concrete today and do concrete footings so if you remember from before we went to england we actually did some concrete footings already over here you can see these so they are doing very, very well. We made those with wood, and so we shotted boxes, and then we put in the, the bolts, and they're absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to be doing over there is slightly different. What we're going to be using instead is cardboard tubing. We already put in the holes some concrete, so some of them have concrete bases. So if you come and have a look, this is where we're at. So this one, for example, has some concrete and this one doesn't. So today what we're planning to do is to make sure that all the holes are at the same point so they all have concrete bases and then after that we'll be using the tubing which we'll show you in a moment to place on top with our bolts ins inserted for the posts to be able to hold up the roof. All we're worrying about is getting the holes all at the same point. Come over here and I'll show you the con concrete tubing. There's a fly that's just like living here. <laughs> so right here, this is the cardboard tubing that we bought yesterday. Now we didn't want to use wood because basically we went through quite a lot of wood making the shuttering before and I was hoping to reuse that wood today. But obviously they're all different sizes and I just don't want to have to go through loads and loads of wood and have so much wood left over. So with the cardboard tubing, you basically, you, you cut everything to size and then you just leave it. You don't actually have to pull it out. It is one use, but it is cardboard, you know, so it's not that bad. We've got our concrete. We have some sand being delivered later. We've got enough to get started and hopefully our delivery will come just in time before we run out of sand. And before the rain. And before the rain. <laughs> So basically these holes are giant and we would be wasting an awful lot of concrete if we were to use these holes and fill them. What I'm going to try and do right now is try and make the holes a little bit smaller by shuttering them. So basically the concrete is nice and thick and enough where we need it and not where we don't need it. Okay. Cool, we just got our delivery of sand now, so... have a shower today. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the pleasures of uh, working in the rain. It's not hard work, it's just... Uh, <laughs> Very counterproductive with oh, what no, we want to raining. do. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can continue. 
So we did a little bit of concreting today, but unfortunately there is a lot of rain forecasted for today, later on during the night. So we thought it might be better to just stop that because we're compromising the shape of the concrete. Okay, so we did two over here. Those two are ready over there, but they're covered with a sheet of plastic. And then that one is the windshield somehow we have here. It came with the house. And if you can see over there, that's a lot of rain coming our way. So what are we doing now? Okay, so right now uh, we have concrete on this length over here on all of these holes. Yeah. We've now also got concrete on these holes over here. So we have two lines of concrete. And the idea is, is that those lines are going to be the ones that hold up the roof. And so therefore they have to have a really, really accurate placing of the columns that will hold up the posts. Okay. Oh, Hone Doma, right next to you. Yes. Holy sh What is that? What is on the you? It's on you. Do you want me to hold anything for you? I don't remember it being this difficult to do this. This is not a giant air bubble down there. You see, you leave a place for two months. Forget it. <laughs> okay, so we have our strings going this way and they're all measured up to be running alongside with the container. And so now what we want to do is start placing the string perpendicularly so we can see exactly where the structure is going to be, where we're building. To the top of the brick. Up, up more, up more, a bit more, there. So we have gone as far as measuring all that string that you see. So we finished with the string. So we have a string going there, over there, over there. And then we've got another one just there. That's as far as we've gone today. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. We're well, very it's been tired, raining. even though we haven't done very much. Anyway, so we are sorted for the day and we'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, with less rain. Oh, fingers crossed. Good morning. Hello guys, good morning. We are having a little bit of a cloudy day today. Unfortunately. Yeah. It was raining quite a lot last night. You didn't wake up, but I did several <laughs> times. Yeah, so we're going to have to go and check what we did yesterday. So, do you think it will be alright? Yeah, we covered it up. Um, I think we can put more concrete in today, but we definitely need to cover it up because it's going to be raining a lot later again. Yeah, in so the evening. It's slowed things down a little bit. Yeah. But we're going to be fine. Don't yeah. worry. Go and have a check. So this one looks pretty good already. 
Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. It's a little bit uneven in the top, but that it's not a big deal because we're not building a floor here. That one, however, has a lot of water on top, so let me help you with that. Yeah. What do you want to do? Lift it up. Yeah, that's having the strings. Yeah? I'll pass it here. Okay, we'll put it that way too. Alright. I'm gonna knock out the wood. Do you want to knock out the wood now? Yeah, that's fine. Well, I just did it by itself. There's a little bit of wood here. That's fine. Let's give it a kick. Yeah. Alrighty. Joao. Who's this person? <laughs> this person called around. We call him Joao. <laughs> With, yeah, he has the funkiest, uh, that's a klutz, isn't it? A horn. Horn, yeah. <laughs> So yesterday in the rain I was scratching my head wondering how can I do nice clean cuts on my new cardboard tubing and I came across a really interesting method. It's pretty clever so we're going to give it a go now. So this is a adjustable clamp, oh, Yeah. normally used for pipes. What we're going to use that. So this is our ring that will very nicely come over here. Yeah. And we're going to use this to be able to clamp it onto it. Okay. And then later on we'll be able to draw a line very easily around it and also use it as a guide for our circular saw. Want to try it? That's a very clever idea. I know. We have to. We'll mention in the description below the YouTube channel where we found this very yeah. cool method. And the video. And the video. It's nice. I like it. Apparently, the night the guy was called Rick. Yeah, because he <laughs> also got the idea from somebody someone else. else. <laughs> yeah. Good knowledge is supposed to be shared. Now we're going to use that little thing that we made as a way to guide the circular saw. So the first thing that we need to find out is the offset. And the cutting distance is this notch over here, which is five inches. So the reason we do the offset is the circular saw is going to use that as a guide to keep it really oh, straight. Okay, so it's going to support itself by that, kind of. Yeah, guide this baby all the way around. Oh, I see. Lot of this lovely. <laughs> this is your workout. <laughs> yeah! Now we have a clean cut. Yeah, well done. <laughs> it's 
pretty close. Resourceful! So let's YouTube, run. thank you. So this is the first cut Omar nice has clean. done. And it's looking great. Look at that cut. Start as you mean to finish. <laughs> first one done. Show us how it's looking. So that one is going to go like that. And then let me just show you the other bit. And that's going to come in around there. To get this bit to connect to that bit, we're going to drill into the concrete and we're going to place some rebar in that concrete. That's going to basically anchor the cylindrical Cylinder. bit of concrete to the bottom. We're just having a little break to get some lunch going and I just want to show you how amazing neighbors and friends here are because um, a lot of people when they come here they start getting into permaculture and growing vegetables and so on so a lot of people just get a lot of vegetables so what do they do with them? They give them away so we got a really really big box of goodies about three four days ago from our friend i'm gonna show you what we got so we got a really nice bag of pumpkin and we got loads of courgettes and we got some corn like fours we need to make some nice soup with that some beans so we need to cook very soon and loads of tomatoes and then also which is amazing and i haven't tried it yet marrow and ginger jam and we also got some pico beans which i haven't really tried before so thank you so much fabio lots of love to you we're gonna enjoy so much of your goodies sound today i'm making some pasta with some courgettes so as you can see Omar is just putting all of the rebar down because um, really we should have done it before but actually it's okay now like this yeah it's working well yeah it's okay so he's gonna do it now that's the last one <laughs> So we're going to try, hopefully it's going to work, start putting concrete in our little forms, our cardboard forms. And uh, we're not going to put the bolts in, uh, we're going to drill the holes at a later stage when it's fully cured and we'll put the bolts in then. So right now we're going to make a little bit of a drier mix, less rocky, more sand, and uh, just let it cure over a long period of time and hopefully it works. <laughs>
it on. Oh my God. Right. So we have finished what we set up to do today, which is brilliant. That is the rain coming over there, so I think we should be all right. Hopefully. I think we should cover these. Look at you, my friend. You are in need of a shower. But yeah. that's our shower area, and we... That's so, concrete. And that's concrete over there, so we can't really have a shower today. Yeah. So that's what we've done today, and it's all done. Now the string's out of the way, because those ones are the most important to level. And now we've got those, so we've got a long level, so we yeah. can use those to level everything else off. Yeah, exactly. You know, so... Awesome, so we're going to call it a day. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully it doesn't rain. It's been really uh, bad the forecast here, so hopefully they also get it wrong for tomorrow. <laughs>